Here in this presentation, we will be learning little concepts related to analog and digital signals. These are the contents of the lecture. Understanding signals, signal types, classification of signal, continuous and discrete time signal, analog signal, digital signal, logic level, digital signals, timing, digital waveform timing, preferences, etc. Let us try to understand the signal. A signal is defined as function of one or more variables which conveys information on the nature of physical phenomena. Means, say for instance, if we talk about this particular signal, then it is having x axis, I am sorry, y axis, there are x axis, so x axis is having some amplitude change, y axis we are having some time change. So, with respect to time, these amplitudes are available. These are some of the types of signals. Signal can be continuous, signal can be discrete. Continuous time signals which have continuous value also are called as analog signals. Con discrete time signal which is having continuous values are called as discrete signals. Discrete time signals which have discrete values are called as digital signals. I mean say for instance we talk about continuous time then say if we are having x and y axis, y axis representing time, so time scale will be our continuous scale, which is continuously varying. We are having signal available at 1, 2, 3, 4, all and all, all, all instance. Continuous value means we have values available between fixed intervals. These are some of the classification of signals. Signals can be continuous or discrete, continuous discrete value signals, even and odd signals, periodic and unperiodic signals, deterministic and random signals, causal and anti-causal signal, energy and power signals. These are some of the signals. This is continuous time, continuous amplitude signal. We are having signal available at every instant of time. And we are also having signal available between these two fixed limits. I mean, one may be possible for the time being we are in position to see the signal. But if somebody is over here, I have cut short the signal, then after this instant, the signal can take on any value from between these. Now we have continuous time discrete amplitude. So discrete amplitude means fixed amplitude. Plus one, minus one. These are two discrete amplitude. But continuous time, continuous time means signals available for entire y axis. I mean, you name the timing, and I am over here to tell you the voltage. Discrete time, continuous amplitude, these are the discrete time. Discrete time means it is available only on fixed, fixed time duration. And this continuous amplitude, continuous amplitude means it can take on any value between these two fixed interval of time. There are the discrete time, discrete amplitude signals. These are the discrete amplitude. These are fixed amplitudes which are defined, and we are having fixed. And we are having discrete time also. Then there are analog signals. Analog signals are the ones which can take on any value within fixed instant of time. Analog signal can be continuous, can be discrete also. Over here in the time scale, it is discrete. This time scale is, I'm sorry, this time scale is continuous. This time scale on your right side is discrete. But point to be noted, both are analog signals. One, this one will be called as analog continuous time, and this right one will be called as analog discrete time. Digital signals. Digital signals can take on fixed values plus one, zero. It can be plus one and minus one also. Plus 1 and 0 will be unilateral signal and plus 1 and minus 1 will be bilateral signal. So here we have voltages 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and so on and so forth. These are the logic level and digits. Logic level and digits and digital signals are represented by two states. One is high and second one is low. So there is one big gap between high and low which is called as invalid. I mean, over here, similarly, the signal is being found. If 
the approximate is sort of an advanced approximate it will approximate it to high or low finally there will be only two values one is high and second one is low digital waveforms these are the waveforms positive going pulse this is positive going pulse going from low to high and this is negative going from going from high to low now there are many devices in a digital system which takes on their starting starting and this particular signal is going from low to high and maybe some device is going from high to low so it takes on its when you starts get triggers like that these are some of the timing diagrams two or more digital waveforms are shown by timing diagram say for instance we are having a clock clock is going fix 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 amount of duration this A signal is the signal which which is taking entire duration of the clock. Clock going in a positive and negative cycle. Right? So it is taking positive as well as negative. This particular B signal is taking two clock cycles. One clock cycle is this one and second clock cycle is this one. So at the conclusion we would say that we have learned good amount of understanding between analog and digital signals. We have learned some ethics related with some uh, words related with digital signals and their labels, classification of signals, etc. These are some of the references we have taken with some of our references from hiking and fluid also. Thank you from my side.